What's up guys, Jake here, Dude Ranch DIY. It's Friday evening, about six o'clock. Um, I just got home from picking up my big sure track dump trailer from my buddy who's a welder. We got a little project going on with that um, on the side, which I will definitely be making a video about once that project is complete. Um, I brought home some of this Norway maple the other day from work. It's nice small size. I couldn't resist. I have plenty of wood around here, but I figured why not? So I'm gonna quickly mark it up with the Mingo marker, cut it and split it on the rugged split splitter um, while we still got some daylight. So enjoy. As you can see, it's really easy as that. All my logs are marked out to uh, 18 inch logs. So now that we got them all cut up, let's get to splitting.
through that Norway maple. That was really quick. We got some nice, nice pieces. Most of them we only had to push through one time. So we got some extra daylight left. I think I'm gonna go back to, unfortunately, splitting some of this really big red oak that I talked about in uh, video number two. Large and small diameter wood, you know, which is better. Um, I've kind of been dreading having to go back, but I only have about one, two, three, four, five, six really big pieces of oak left. The rest of the stuff that I got here to split is a little bit smaller, so it shouldn't be too bad. But this oak really is a bear to do by yourself, but we got to get it out of the way to make room for some more. That was a lot. I think I definitely still agree with myself from video number two. Splitting small diameter wood is by far easier, faster, probably more productive than splitting these giant rounds. The one thing these giant rounds have going for them is just how many pieces of wood come out of each round. I mean, I think I I just split maybe five or six of those rounds and I can't even see that Norway maple that we split before. So they definitely produce a lot of wood, but boy, is it a bear, especially just with one person. I'm pooped.
guys, well that's it for today. Um, I just loaded up the tractor with the Everything Attachments Wicked Grapple and the, um, oh wow, I am tired. All right guys, well that's it for today. I just loaded up the tractor with the Everything Attachments Wicked Root Rate Grapple and the Woodmax MX8800 into the SureTrack dump trailer. I got a tree job to go to tomorrow that I'm gonna be using it at, so I loaded it up tonight so I don't have to in the morning. Um, if you like these types of videos, please like, subscribe, comment below if you got any questions um, or comments, and we'll see you next time here at Dude Ranch DIY.